Hello guys, it's Marion Jones here, back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see by the thumbnail and title, I'll be going through my, I'll be doing my final SPFL predictions. Now obviously, the season's coming to an end in four more games, so I might as well do it right now. I was going to do it last week, but I'm doing it now. But without further ado, don't, by the way, I'm trying to do my best with these. These might not be true. They're probably not going to be true because my predictions are up. So are absolutely awful. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. So starting with the bottom half of the table and finishing in 12th place, I've gone sadly for Ross County. I think their time in the top flight division is up. Although they did pick up a 2-0 win against Livingston in, in Dingwall on the weekend, I still think they're going to go down. They have Dundee United away next. That's a Tannadice is a tough place to go to. Then they have to go to uh, Fir Park and get a result. I don't think they'll do that. And then the end, honestly, the fixtures aren't going their way, but you never know. But for me, I just think, I for me, I just think Ross County is going to finish bottom. So Ross County for me is getting relegated in eleventh place. I have put Dundee United. Now I think they'll get a playoff. Um, but you never know, they could surprise us. Obviously, they're at bottom of the table for large spells of the season. And as soon as they lost that game to Aberdeen at Tannadice, we all thought that they would go down. But surprisingly, Jim Goodwin has brought them back up. And recently, they've been really, really good. Um, even though they did lose on the weekend to St Johnston, they picked up three wins in a row. Um, three wins in a row after that uh, Rangers match beating Hibernian at Tannadice beating Motherwell away and beating Livingston at home I think they'll get a playoff I think they, sh they should win the playoff but it'll be a tough one they're either going to play what is it Area United, Queen's Park Inverness possibly so it will be very very interesting to see who they play, who they get in the playoff. But for me, Dundee United is finishing in eleventh place. In tenth place, just scraping the playoffs, I'm going for Kilmarnock. Now their season's been a bit up and down, but I do think they'll just just about make it. Um, but it'll be very very tough for them. Uh, the they are currently in a playoff spot. But I do think they'll get a win in there to push them back up. I do think they'll get a win next weekend against Livingston at home. Livingston haven't been the best recently, by no means. By no means. Um, even though Kilmarnock did lose this weekend, I think they'll. I think they'll bounce back. I do think I have faith in my true Derek McInnes that he will get the job done and he will finish in tenth place. So in ninth place now, I have gone for. Um, St Johnston now recently obviously sacking their manager Callum Davidson he's been the other club for a mile or two um, I do think I think they'll scrape it recently they haven't been the best as well um, but I just think they've got that belief in them that they can just hold on and get a few more results and they've got the team to do it they've just came off the back of a win um, recently they've been picking a couple of points but um, they've got Motherwell next weekend that's a huge match if they lose that they're absolutely finished um, but if they do beat Motherwell I do think I have confidence that they will finish in ninth place but it'll be very very good to see by the way comment down below who do you think is going to go down or who's going to stay up um, who's going to get playoffs or whatever so ninth place I've gone for St Johnston in eighth place, I've gone for the well, Motherwell. Um, obviously, under uh, Stuart Kettlewell, he's done an amazing job after Stevie Hamill got sacked. Uh, they have, the, obviously, one of the top goal scorers in the league, Kevin Van Veen, who's been unbelievable. He's been, he's been so, so good. And I've only got to give credit to him and Stuart Kettlewell for actually sorting out that team. That Motherwell team under Stevie Hamill in his last few games in the job was horrendous. An absolute mess. But Stevie Hamill has brought it back up and he's done an absolutely amazing job. And I've only got to credit him in that uh, basis. Uh, 
Uh, they got a draw against Celtic at Celt at in Paradise last week, uh, two weeks ago, which is a amazing amazing result. They can be a bit inconsistent at times, but they mostly get the job done. And as I said just now, that game against St Johnston next weekend will decide if they have the talent or not to get the job done. Again, Motherwell's team's been unbelievable. They've got very, very good players. Max Johnson, obviously, at Cove this season. Liam Kelly, the keeper of Blair Spittle, has been very good as well. So, Motherwell's team, I do think they could do it, and that's why I've put them in 8th place. And in 7th place, the last um, position in the bottom half of the split is Livingston. They were in, they were in, a, they were in a Europe, Europa Conference League spot towards the start of the season. I don't know what's happened. They've just they've just fell short of the top half of the split by um by a few points I would say. Um I can't lie, Livingston's team is decent. David Martin Dell I've always credit him. I always thought he's a very good manager. Um the team's not bad. It's just I don't know what I don't know what it is really. Joel Newball he's been the best player f- by a by a mile this season, he's been unbelievable getting them goals all the time. Another player who I've really really enjoyed watching this season for um, Livingston is Stephen Kelly. He's been amazing in midfield. He's scoring a lot of free kicks, which he's been a very good player to watch for Livingston, and that's why I do think they'll I think they'll comfortably finish um, in the top half. Uh, I do think they'll get at least six points in the last four games of the split, so I do think they'll finish in seventh place. Now, getting on to the top half of the table, the big boys, the big guns, and in sixth place, I have gone for Hibernian. Now, I know they are currently three points clear in fifth place, but mark my word, they are going to bottle it. Mark my word. Even though their team is quite strong, they have sold a few players. Um, f- surprisingly, Kevin Nisbet still at the club. Harry McCurdy's been very good this season. Ellie Yuan, again, he's been unbelievable. Um, who else you got? Josh Campbell, he's been great. James Jago got red card two weeks ago and Saints wasn't a red. Uh, Ada McGeady, obviously, the famous, famous baller from Sunderland so they've got a lot of talent in that team um, but for me Hibs have been on a bit up and downs recently um, they've I know the last or I know they haven't lost in the last three matches but they've got Aberdeen next I think they'll lose that one they're going to lose to Rangers um, Celtic again a tough game Hearts I don't think they're going to get a result of that so the next four matches against the top four, pretty much Hearts, Aberdeen, Celtic and Rangers, they're not going to do it. And that's why they're going to finish in sixth place. Mark my word. Now in fifth place, getting down to the top five, I have gone for St Mirren. Now this season, they've been a surprise team, you know. Eve, But I've enjoyed the football they've been playing. They've been playing some unbelievable football. Um, and they've got results against big teams. They beat Hearts the other weekend. They scored two goals at Ibrox, which is unheard of. Um, and not much teams have done that. Um, and one per- there's only one person who's been unbelievable this season, and that's Mark O'Hara. He came from uh, Motherwell, obviously, in the summer, I think it was. Mate, he's been top, top level. He's the one getting all the goals for uh, Samir in this season. And I've only got to credit him. He's been the one... Firing, firing, firing for them. So yeah, I think Samirin will finish in the top five, and they, I do think they'll get a conference league playoff, which will be very, very good to see. P- the Paisley boys coming back, ultras against these big teams in Europe. That will be a massive one. Top four now, and this is where people are going to say maybe not, but yeah, it's the current positions. So in fourth place, I've gone for Hearts. There's absolutely no way they're going to catch up with Aberdeen. Even though Aberdeen did lose to Rangers 1-0 on the week, on the weekend, even though we should have had a pen, Cantwell should have been sent off. Um, Hearts, they just lost to Celtic in the split. For me, away at Paisley is going to be a hard game. 
I think they'll get a draw against Aberdeen. Rangers away going to be tough, and then they've obviously got that Edinburgh derby to finish the season. Yes, they did come off the back of a 6-1 win, but again, they've got Stephen Naismith. He's not even a manager. They've just sacked Robbie Nielsen, which I think is the correct decision. He's been awful recently. But Hearts need to prove me wrong. If Aberdeen, I would say if Aberdeen get another six points, it's game over for them. If Aberdeen can beat Hibs and possibly get a point against their Hearts, I think it's game over for them. So that's why I've gone for Hearts to finish in fourth place. Now top three and third place. Now you, there's only one team, the famous Dandy Dons. Aberdeen, they're going to finish in third place, let's be honest. Um... Not not much else to say. They're five points clear. They're gonna beat. They're probably gonna beat Hibs. Um, and as honestly, if they can get, I just said, if they can get six points in their la- last four games of the split, it's game over for Hearts. It's bye bye European football, and we're gonna go to Europe, and they'll be hopefully away days. Now top two. Now it's already confirmed. Rangers second, Celtic first. I can't even change it because Celtic have just won the league. Congratulations to them. Fully deserve it, Rangers. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, Rangers in second is pretty much confirmed. Celtic have won the league, and they've won won it all quite comfortably. Only one loss this season against St Mirren. Yep, Celtic won it. Fully deserved it. Rangers recently very very poor. Michael Beals he's done all right, but a bit dodgy off and on. But that is my final SPFL predictions comment down below if you think I've made a mistake and comment down below your final SPFL predictions but I do hope you enjoyed this video like subscribe hit the notification button up front every single time I upload a video next time peace guys